Next stop, Gillard Street. Hey everyone, it's Monday, June 21st. The time right now is 5.34 p.m. And the temperature is 27 degrees Celsius. This is the intersection of Broadview Avenue and Gerard Street East. And for this one, I'll be going for a walk through the Riverside District. Let's cross on over to the east side of Broadview. This immediate area is East Chinatown, and that runs primarily to the south here along Broadview. And to the east along Gerard. I think I'll be heading south down to Queen. And then I'll walk east over to Degrassi. Then we'll head north through a few residential streets and then I'll take Dundas over to Logan and I'll finish up at Jimmy Simpson Park. So this is the smaller of the two Chinatowns in the city of Toronto proper. And perhaps I'll have to check out that bike shop. Yesterday I was recording a bike ride and a spoke popped out of my rear tire. And there's the look along First Avenue. And this streetcar would have come along Dundas, I think, and turned south onto Broadview. as there's some water main replacement work going on and it's been going on since May. So the 504 streetcar that would normally run along Broadview has been replaced by a bus. And Riverside here is bordered roughly by the Don River to the west and to the north by Girard, where I started. To the east by Logan, where we'll be checking out later. And I think Eastern Avenue to the south. And this is part of the larger Riverdale neighborhood. So coming up just to the south here is Dundas Street. And just to the north of where I started, 
you'll find Riverdale Park East and that great view of the skyline. And I might end up there tonight as I'm planning on doing a live stream right after I record this video. I've already started it in YouTube and there was a bunch of people in the chat waiting already. So I set that time for 6.15. It looks like I might be a little early to that, but that's okay. Here's Dundas Street East. And this part of Dundas Street fortunately has bike lanes. the first full day of summer. Although it's been a bit overcast for much of the day. It was threatening rain and it was called for in the forecast. And it rained last night, but I don't think it rained today. I was kind of hoping I could get out and do a rain video or two, but never came into fruition. Welcome to the Buff Club Toronto. The Royal Antiluvian Order of Buffaloes? I have never looked that up before. Alexandra Middle, Middle School. I think that's attached to an alternative school and an art school. I think there's three schools on that property in total. And that property stretches up to Dundas. There's the Broadview Gospel Hall. having pizza pizza tonight. I think the pizza pizza is just to the south of here on Queen Street and then just a block over to the west. I'll be turning east and passing through the main retail stretch in Riverside. if you can hear an ice cube <laughs> rattling around. I have a water bottle in my backpack. I put one of those giant ice cubes in it and I can just kind of faintly hear it knocking around in there. Hopefully the mic's not picking that up.
There's an Ethiopian Orthodox Church. And on the right is the Broadview Hotel. And that's a 58-story hotel room, or 58, 58-story hotel. It's a 58-room hotel. I was trying to remember that number, and it just came out wrong. And that property dates back to 1893. And before it was the Broadview Hotel, it was a rooming house. And it was also a strip club called Jilly's. And that all closed down in 2004 to make way for this newly renovated hotel. And I actually have reservations for there later on in the week. There's a restaurant located on the rooftop that offers up pretty nice views. I've heard good things about it and have never been there, so... I'll report on that once I've had that experience. And this is Queen Street East. Doesn't look like there's anyone out on the patios just yet. There's the opera house. It's a music venue that dates all the way back to the early 1900s. I think 1909. It's got a capacity of just under a thousand people. I've seen a number of shows there. And the tragically hit music video, Music at Work, was filmed there, or at least part of it was. Slayer Burger. I have never tried that. And it's sort of like... There's an old library. That goes back to the late 1800s. That would be the Riverside Branch or Queen Salter, I guess it's officially called. There's a neat mural on the other side of the street that I wanted to show, but that streetcar conveniently stopped just as I was looking over. Couldn't get much of a look at, of it earlier as these patios were blocking the view. And that's the 501 Queen Streetcar. That'll be heading all the way over to the Neville Park Loop. That's just in front of the R.C. Harris Water Treatment Plant.
this is Bolton Avenue. So this area is part of Riverdale, but just on the other side of these tracks here, the Wesleyville neighborhood begins. This is Degrassi Street. So we'll head north up a few re residential streets up to Dundas. And the old CBC TV show, The Kids of Degrassi Street, was based on this street. Although they spelt Degrassi all as one word. In the actual street, it's D-E space. G-R-A-S-S-I. There's certainly some beautiful old homes on here. I did a walk all the way up this street, either at the end of last year or earlier this year. But I'll be turning right just up ahead here in about half a block or so. Right at the Bruce Mackey Park. And Bruce Mackey was an actor who was actually in the TV show, The Kids of Degrassi Street. He was known as Mr. Mackey. I don't know if that's where South Park got their inspiration for Mr. Mackey from. And he used to call Degrassi Street home. And this is Wardell Street. Here we go, I knew there had to be a plaque of some sort for him here. Bruce Mackey was a longtime resident of Degrassi Street. And this parquet kind of narrowly stretches all the way up to Dundas. Okay, I can really hear that <laughs> ice cube rattling around now. Again, I apologize for that. Normally try to limit any type of extra noise you might hear. Especially things like zippers flapping. I once had a walk ruined by shoelaces <laughs> flapping up and down quite loudly on my boots. I thought that was particularly annoying. And I won't wear nylon or any type of swishy material for that reason. And to make sure my keys don't jingle around, just stuff like that. So maybe the ice cube wasn't the best idea, but hopefully it's worth it.
So this is Dundas coming up. So I'll turn right here and head over to Logan Avenue, which would be the eastern boundary of Riverside. And I'll find my way down to Jimmy Simpson Park and that'll be that. Cumming Street. And that sun is still way, way up in the sky. Whereas in the winter, it would be almost pitch black by now. Maybe we can cut through the park a bit. There goes someone on an e-scooter. I'm thinking about recording an e-scooter ride tomorrow. And here's those same rail tracks. And they're doing some water main work between Logan here and Carlisle, which is the next major street to the east. And this is Logan Avenue, so we'll be turning south here. This will go south all the way down to Commissioners, which is just in front of Tommy Thompson Park. And I think to the north, well, it becomes a one-way street that changes directions a few times. It ends up going north of Danforth, all the way up to, if I can recall, just past Cosburn. But again, if you're driving along it, it's one of those streets that tends to change directions at every major intersection. That's just to prevent cars from taking it as a shortcut. Some of these homes must be pushing 100 years. Although they're much newer on this side of the street.
And here is Colgate Avenue, if I'm not mistaken. There was a large palm olive Colgate plant. Just to the east of here, towards Carlaw. That whole area was kind of an industrial hub way back when. But we're gonna finish up here at Jimmy Simpson Park. There's a big recreation center here. And the city of Toronto had one of their pop-up vaccine clinics here at some point about a month ago. Just to look up a laneway. Looks like there's some kind of yoga or stretching class going on there. And Jimmy Simpson was a former mayor of Toronto, at least for a very short period. I think in 1934, he was also a trade unionist a journalist and a politician. Well, that couple lucked out. They got a spot at the courts. And there is the rec center. And that would be Queen Street East, just to the south of here. There's a welcome site, a nice big patio. is Barrio. There's a look north at Booth Avenue. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for tagging along with me as I took a walk through the Riverside District. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. If you wish to support the channel, you can check out channel memberships on the channel page. And I also have Patreon memberships available. There's a link to that in the description. Anyways, Thanks for watching and I will catch you on the next one.